we can go ahead and, and continue masterminding around courage and how it's uh, taking a risk, it's facing our fear, it's having faith, all the, thing that, the things that you've said so far that just really clarify what courage means to each of us. Because again, er, that's the one thing about our vocabulary is it, it often means something different you know, to each of us based upon our experience um, with that concept. So I appreciate those things that have been brought up so far. Uh, okay, Kelly is here. She's not uh, coming on camera, but are you ready to tell us how you did on your intention? I said I took my shower. Oh, okay. That was it. All right. Very good. Well, congratulations. <laughs> so if you want to participate and continue participating in the mastermind, just unmute yourself and we'll, we'll know that you want to contribute some more about courage. Um, Beck and, and Kelly and I really have kind of one of our main things is being fearless, which fearless really is uh, facing your fears with courage and faith and um so it's it's kind of something that that's in my bones is to, to think about how to step out of my comfort zone and continue to grow which i think is what keeps me um alert and energetic and uh ready to keep keep on that path is my desire to face my fears and to have courage so Anybody else want to add to our conversation or we can go somewhere else? Okay, Matt. Yeah. Um, can you share the, the road? It wasn't roadkill, but the armadillo uh, thing yes. again. Can you share yes. that one more time? Because I did have a thought around that that I was going to yeah. share. And I'll put it in the chat after I share it with you. It's There's nothing in the middle of the road but a yellow stripe and a dead armadillo. So what's interesting is, right, what our brain knows is that yellow is caution. And the the roadkill idea of something being there, right, that is uh, really interesting because right away my, my, my brain goes, well, that is why people stall from shifting out into something they don't know because what they see over there is things that died or that it, you know, the caution flag is thrown up in that yellow stripe. And um, it's interesting because when you do have the courage to go in the caution zone and go where other people may have got stuck and, and slowed, um, that's, the, that's the motivation to, once you take the tiny step to peek around the corner, you need to either keep going or pull back. And um, I love that JL shared the story about the, her convincing herself and then me just saying, go, 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 like, let's do it. Um, because so many times that's exactly how decision-making works. So we're, we're questioning ourselves, we're, we're, we're in our head a lot. And then when we have people to um, encourage um, the, the step out or the peek around to see like, mm, it might be something I want to do or where I want to go. Um, and to, to build on the belief that we have. And, um, so the roadkill thing, I was just so interested in like yellow is caution and knowing like roadkill, that would be exactly why people tend to stay in a space longer, um, is because they're, they're in that mindset of, but this is where dreams go to die, right? Like some people might have heard that quote before. This is where dreams go to die, you know, staying in that. So that was really what was coming to me. I thought, wow, that was, um, there was a lot that came with the, um, the nuggets that you brought with us this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to look up some more quotes by uh, Jim Hightower. He looks like yeah. when I looked him up, he's a crusty looking old cowboy. Uh, you know, and it, it's just kind of like that, that uh, pioneer or prairie kind of, uh, you know, wisdom that just comes out in, in, uh, in kind of a very organic, earthly way. And so I think I'm going to look him up a bit and see a bit about him. I guess he's a political activist. So he's, he's like 78 years old and um, was a journalist. So I think I'll, I'll look up a few more quotes from him because I liked both of those. I thought they were pretty, pretty thought provoking in, in a real, everybody was able to relate to them right 
So yeah, yeah. I, that was, I got that was... one other thought, just yeah. a little bit off the off the topic. It's like I thought about crossing the line, you know, like you know that you've stepped out and people might look at you differently because you have you've crossed the line and there might be some jeopardy in that absolutely i did a workshop yesterday with a bunch of leaders from the county that are you know up, up leveling up leveling as supervisors and i do one activity where i have them say what's their biggest their three biggest concerns and then i ask them to star their greatest concern about stepping up in leadership and then i have them write what they're afraid of on a paper plate and then we throw them all into the middle and I pick them up and I read them. And over and over, it's fear of rejection, failure, fear, fa failure of rejection, failure of being seen as different. So, you know, that's really when you step out into a leadership position, it's still that same kind of fear, that same kind of fear. Yeah. Like, like Becky was talking about, it's, you know, it's that, that kind of fear. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're at the hour. And I don't believe there's another hour after me. So I will stop. The I recording. put some stuff in the chat. Okay, let me look and see what you got over there. Oh, talking about, no, I don't see it, Kelly, I'm sorry. Oh. I just said um, that I was agreeing with Beck and saying that, um, you know, I can't remember the first thing I said now, but that, um, the yellow line is telling us to not pass over, right? We're supposed to stay on our side of the road and not pass over. And so to get to the other side of this road, you're gonna have to pass over that line. And let me see if I can see what the other the thing is. The die zone, you, you mentioned the die zone. Oh yeah, yeah. Knowing you can get hurt, you will not want to cross going into the die zone. So. Yeah. And that's something, Kelly, probably maybe you'll be talking about in polka dots today is a stretch, risk, and die, how we get out of our comfort zone. I will be. Yeah, mm. so that, uh, that whole, when we talk about the die zone, Carol, that's something you would rather die than do. And that's when you're really taking a risk and you're really crossing over that line. But you have that, that spark, that belief, that faith that you can do it, you know. So have a great day and uh, appreciate all of you so much. Go forth and conquer. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be with you guys in spirit today. I can't come on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Good luck today, babe. Thank you. I'm probably not going to be able to get on because I have taken mom to get her hair done at 10, 15, which is probably just about the time he'll be speaking. I thought you said she was getting her hair done tomorrow. No, I was confused on the days. It's today. So tomorrow we'll have no problem getting to the polka dot on time. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'll try to get on if I can, uh, but I'll be there in spirit. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.